Hey everyone, I'm Erin Demchak, bringing you the latest Hollywood gossip right here on the Starpult scene. Newly famous couple, the Salahis, also known as the White House Party Crashers, admitted in an email to the Pentagon that they went to the state dinner without knowing if they were invited or not. They said they went just to check in in case it got approved because they didn't know. Okay, it's one thing to crash, say, your ex-boyfriend's engagement party, but the very prestigious invite-only White House state dinner? Wow. Old Flame's 50 Cent and Vivica A. Fox recently reconciled their bad ending to their one-year relationship six years ago. 50 called up Vivica and asked her if she wanted to be in his music video for his newly released single, Do You Think About Me? Apparently 50, it's an ironic title because yes, clearly you are still thinking about her. A home video shot 50 years ago supposedly shows Marilyn Monroe smoking marijuana with some girlfriends. She's seen on the couch with a few of her friends, taking a puff of what appears to be a joint and then laughing. I bet she never thought this video would get released. She's probably laughing in her grave as we speak. Former first daughter Chelsea Clinton is engaged to her longtime boyfriend, investment banker Ed Mavinsky. He has also had his share of family scandals. His dad was recently released from a federal prison after pleading guilty in 2002 for defrauding business associates and family and friends for millions. The small talk between these in-laws at the rehearsal dinner will be very interesting, I'm sure. Former Family Ties mom Meredith Baxter Burney recently announced to the Today Show that she is a lesbian. Although she's been married three times and has five kids, she's been in a relationship with her girlfriend Nancy Locke for the past four years. I guess we know why those marriages didn't work out. 41-year-old singer Lisa Loeb and her husband just gave birth to their first daughter, Lila Rose. Her chart-topping hit, Stay, put her on the map, but she was recently on an e-reality show called Number One Single, trying to find love in her 30s. I'm glad she finally found the love and she can close the chapter on that book. It was announced this week that Nicole Richie will have her own sitcom on ABC. She reportedly came up with the idea herself and pitched it to execs at Sony Pictures. The plot is about a young professional who struggles to maintain her family relationships as her career progresses. It must be nice to have connections in the biz, Nicole. Breaking news! Lindsay Lohan apparently isn't a lesbian anymore. Or was she ever a lesbian? She and John Mayer were seen together at New York hotspot Butter this week. She was kind of following him around, dancing with him a bit, and they shared a table. There was no PDA but sources say that they looked pretty close. Has Hollywood's golden couple, Reese Witherspoon and Jake Gyllenhaal, broken up? Sources for the two have said that they are still together, they're just working on movies in different continents. We'll just have to check their Facebook status to make sure. Now it's time to guess the famous movie quote. The answer to last week's famous movie quote was Mel Gibson in The Patriot. This week's famous movie quote is, You're so wise, you're like a miniature Buddha covered in hair. <laughs> Just when we think we have the quintessential role model for male athletes, Tiger Woods and his reputation came crashing down this week. He reportedly got into a car accident with his Escalade and a fire hydrant outside his house. There may or may not have been a domestic dispute between him and his wife, and now there are various women coming out saying they've had an affair with Tiger. There's even a recording of a voicemail Tiger sent to former Tool Academy contestant Jamie Grubb, saying, you need to change your name on the voicemail because my wife went through my phone and may be calling you. Oh, Tiger, this is like finding out Santa Claus isn't real. 
refreshing. That's it for this week. I'm Erin Demchak, contributing writer at Star Pulse. Check out these stories and more at starpulse.com, your entertainment destination. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>